Hey, it's Tim Ria here live wrapping up the 2013 Digital Health Summer Summit in beautiful San Diego. Really excited. We just had John Scully uh, with the Scully's Angel title of that uh, panel, which you guys are on. And we have Sean Heinegger, who's the CEO of Sleep Med. Very important to get your sleep. And we're going to learn about your company. And then Sunny Vu, who's a two-time uh, Digital Health Summit or more uh, speaker. We had you down at CES, and you're wearing... Uh, the Shine, which is by Misfit Wearables, who's the CEO of that company. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Having a blast. So um, we saw John, and I was curious if you guys can uh, talk about yourself really quick, uh, your experience on how you got to where you are now, and then we'll hear about the panel. Yeah, perfect. So I uh, started out selling med surge supplies 25 years ago. Uh, started my first company, PDS Heart, in 2000, and... Uh, fortunate enough to sell that company. John was chairman of our board and uh, now started another company called Watermark Medical, now Sleep Med, and we're in the business of treating and diagnosing patients with obstructive sleep apnea. Great, great. Uh, well, I uh, dropped out of uh, my PhD program at uh, MIT to start my last company, Agamatrix. We made blood glucose meters and strips for a number of years, uh, made the world's first hardware medical device that works with the iPhone, a glucose meter and uh, left about two years ago to start this uh, new company. Uh, Sean introduced uh, us to uh, John Scully. And so Sridhar, my partner from Agamatrix, myself and John, uh, did, um, you know, did Misfit. And we're, we're focused on the wearable computing space. Uh, our very first product, the Misfit Shine, uh, an elegant activity monitor that you can wear anywhere. Super exciting. So what was going on inside in the panel? Well, today, uh you know, we were giving just kind of insights on challenges that we've run into, um, opportunities that we see in healthcare, how consumerization is going to accelerate in healthcare, uh, mainly because of uh, the fact that us as consumers are going to be paying uh, for it. And, um, you know, and then just talking uh, about how our, you know, our three companies kind of work together and, and we get the benefit of dealing and being mentored by John Scully, which is, you know, every day um, is, is pretty amazing experience. For the folks that got to see the uh, the panel discussion, that's what Sonny and I get to experience every day. It's pretty uh, remarkable. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know having a chance to talk with, just hang out, hang out with John Scully, learn from him, and guys like Sean and Randy, an amazing experience. You know, it's really different pieces of the pie coming together in this whole uh, consumerization of healthcare era. And you know, we make stuff, devices. You know, Sean's does devices and services. Randy ha has an amazing service that he's providing that's uh, totally disruptive to this space. So it's pretty exciting to be uh, a part of the story, really. What's the biggest value that, sh that you're finding from this relationship uh, working with John? Yeah, you know, for me personally, it's, uh, it's having just a whole other set of eyes and ears that you can bounce stuff off of. You know, I, I, the company I, I have today, we have over a thousand employees uh, across the country. And, um, you know, every day you're dealing with issues. Um, and, and having someone with his skill set and his experience is just unbelievable. Um, the thing, you know, which is, you know, really important for an entrepreneur is the, people like John have pretty much seen and experienced everything. And having the ability to uh, get his perspective. Uh, is is something that's been just amazing. I guess what's what's some interesting experiences you've had uh, working as a startup and working with with uh, John and that experience. Well, just learning some basic principles of what really matter. You know, um, one of the things that John's always said that I think that I've really adopted a couple of things. You know, working with just working with people you like. You know, yeah, you basic stuff. I love that, you know, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to work with people I like. Um, and also just the notion of work-life balance. No, it's not work-life balance. It's work-life integration, you know, and that's, that's what it's about, you know. Um, we work, we work nonstop, but it does, it never feels like work. You know, our view at Misfit has always been if you do work that's meaningful with people you like, surrounded by good food, then it never feels like work, you know, and uh, that's the environment that we've tried to create. That's something that John's taught me, and uh, you know, it sounds like you're, you know, you're learn you know, we're all in the same school, you know, yeah. although you're a few years ahead of me, though. I oh, appreciate that. 
What, what, John, Sean, what are you doing to disrupt your marketplace? Well, we've, we've got a piece of technology that makes it really easy for patients to get diagnosed at home for obstructive sleep apnea. It's about 20% of the U.S. population has this disorder, and uh, only 85% um, 85% haven't been diagnosed yet. So uh, we're a tenth of the cost to test. Um, much better user experience. You get to sleep in the comfort of your own bed. And um, we're enabling the 130,000 primary care doctors out there to, to do this test and uh, then get them in the appropriate, uh, on the appropriate therapy. Sonny, a lot of people are interested in, in merging hardware and software uh, in their startups. And I know hardware is hard to do. What's the, been the most recent experience with Shine and developing that? You know, Shine's been a tough product, I have to say. A lot tougher than we had originally thought. Uh, we've been making plastic uh, injection molded products for the last 15 years and um, made lots of FDA cleared products and that was that was a lot of fun but the, the challenge of making an all-metal product incredible and so just finding the right people in the right places uh, craftsmen really to make this product has been quite a challenge actually and we're finally there we're shipping next month um, it'll be available in retail at the end of July worldwide and um, but yeah going out to our Indiegogo supporters uh, middle of next month so we're excited to finally be getting it out it is. It is. Middle of July, we'll be we'll be shipping them out. We're ramping up production right now, uh, making thousands of them a day. You know, we've got multiple tens of thousands uh, ready to go. And then, what about the software side of that? Okay. Yeah, software has been a lot of fun. You know, in this era of wearable technology, where the design principles really are 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 being challenged. There, there are new, there are new, you know, we're talking about glanceable displays, you know. We had web UX, web user experience. Then it's about mobile user experience. You know, you have mobile UX, so that's being, you know, that's our jobs, you know, a mobile UX designer wanted. Um, and I believe in the next year, it's going to be about glanceable, I don't know but in the next year, but next several years, you know, uh, glanceable UX. Uh, glanceable UX designer wanted. I, I see that happening. And now the interaction between wearability and mobile UX and mobile phones is going to be huge. So, you know, just like everybody, we struggle with, with making sure the experience is meaningful and relevant and actionable that, you know, we're giving people insights and not just data. So, Sean, the digital health space is, is really interesting. And is entrepreneurs have to have a crystal ball, kind of look in the future and then look back. What is the future in your perception? Well, uh, first of all, uh, one of the common threads that we've learned working with John Skelly is, is it's not just a product or a service, it's an integrated platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, looking into digital health, I, I believe what's gonna help accelerate it is, is the fact that consumers are gonna be paying for all this stuff. And um, you know, how, how do we interact with a, a software program or a device or a mobile device, which now is, you think about um, a couple years ago, the idea of turning around because you forgot your phone, uh, you would never do that now. It's set, so important to your life. Um, you know, it's, in, it's just becoming embedded in our everyday activity. And that's where, where consumer health care is going. So, Sonny, you took an interesting path uh, to get to, to where you're at. What would be your advice to, say, James Roman, our assistant here, who is going to college for the first time and he's looking at entrepreneurship but is, is learning to cut his teeth what would be your suggestion for young people boy I don't know I, I kind of wish someone would have told me stuff when I was young you know um, yeah well, I don't know about study you know I, I uh, went to school with some folks who have done quite well dropping out of school and uh, I stayed to try to get good grades and um, but you know if there was anything I would say uh, you know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about working on the things that you love, that you find meaning in. And um, for us, you know, we, um, the purpose of our business, you know, to create products and services to enable communities to flourish. It's an important part of who we are and why we do things. So understanding about why you want to do stuff and what it is that you like to do and dedicating yourself to doing that because, it, it, like I said, you know, it won't feel like work if you find meaning in doing it and you do it with people you like. And so if you can find that thing and being honest to yourself about it, I think that's probably one of the most important things I would, you know, say to myself if I was, you know, if I could talk to someone 20 years younger than myself. Sean? Yeah, I, you know, when I, what I meant study, I was more really study what motivates you and what excites you and what you're passionate about because the reality is we're going to be working um, hopefully for a long time. And uh, if you find what resonates and what really creates a spark, um, 
that makes your day go by uh, a lot quicker. And there's nothing more uh, rewarding than making money uh, with your friends yeah. and with uh, yeah, that's you know, you've said a lot. Yeah, and, I love it. And, yeah. and people you work with, and you know, that's kind of that's one of the first principles John Scully has is there's the lines between work and, and, and play are, yeah. are get really blurred. And so, uh, at least in our universe, so you, me you better make sure you're working with people that you enjoy being around. So that's my advice. Well, I think we should uh, wrap up with that. I want to thank you guys for your time. We, let's also do one more thing is how do people connect with you guys and what types of folks out there are you looking to connect, connect with? Uh, you know, at, at Sleep Med, we're looking for people that are extremely uh, committed to making a change and, and helping create disruption. We're all about uh, expanding access to health care and at, at the price point. So uh, the best way to get in touch with me is on email. It's uh, um, sheiniger at sleepmedinc.com. And uh, please feel free to send me an email. I'll be happy to talk to you. Uh, I've got my phone with me 24-7, even though make sure you sleep 10 hours a day. Well, you know, for us, we're, we're always looking for great engineers, firmware, hardware engineers. That's, that's our lifeblood here in uh, Silicon Valley. Um, easiest way would be to tweet to me, uh, at Sunny Vu, S-O-N-N-Y-V-U, and uh, that's probably the easiest way. So do, check, do check out Sonny's Twitter stream because he has some pretty, uh, really interesting material coming out. I want to thank Sean and Sonny for their time, and um, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank, thanks for having us. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Tim. Okay.